All right. So, um, good morning to all the Indian people who are joining today's session. And good evening to the people who are joining us from US and Canada. I welcome you all on behalf of Dr. Odesha and entire Sai Corona Mission team. Okay, so uh, our today's topic is really, really important for everybody to understand. First, we will understand the, its importance and then we'll try to uh, implement it through the meditation. So uh, our today's topic is quantum healing. Uh, we all are a little bit aware of healing, but uh, today we'll try to understand the quantum healing, how we can uh, go ahead and uh, get into the exact meaning of quantum healing, right? So, as we all know, like, let's uh, start in this way. Like we all, as human beings, people want to be rich to survive in their lives. We all understand this, right? And usually, people also struggle with other side problems like health, wealth, relationship, and even finance in getting rich as well. You know why? Because we as human beings forget one very important thing that God has provided us even beyond getting rich which is the abundance. Why not to get into the abundance? Why we are only running behind in getting rich? And to be in this abundance, we need to be balanced. Balanced in our energies balanced in our yin and yang, as we have started earlier, balanced in our light and dark particles. So as we all now aware that there are three ways by which we can balance ourselves, like by which we can move to the path of oneness or to bring our mind, body, and soul in synchronization. Number one is yoga. It starts with the body and brings that synchronization from physical perspective. Like it starts from physical perspective. Meditation. And we are aware of two types of meditation, active meditation and passive meditation. Like in a brief, when we do active meditation, we, we use affirmations, symbols, mantras, chanting. And the second one is passive meditation, like by getting into is silence meditation, like not chanting anything, just getting into that silence mood. It's just quite difficult to uh, implement it from the starting, like, but silence meditation. And number three is healing. We have various healing modalities, like the people who are joining uh, SKM from long time, they must be aware of few of the healing modalities like Karna, Karma, DNA, psychic surgery, money abundance, and there are many more. So what's the meaning of when we talk about healing? Healing is 
when we decide to work on our own karmas to neutralize it like to free ourselves from that cycle of repetitions that we are repeating from certain lives because if we understand the science behind how our body functions and behaves all our energy centers work with the energy flow energy should flow flawlessly from top to bottom our energy should be in transaction always but it doesn't happen that way why our energy flow stuck where it finds the accumulation of other energies the unwanted energies what are all those energies as i said those are unwanted energies why those are unwanted because we didn't create it intentionally because nobody would want to stop their energy flow right so what's that accumulation those are the memories where that memory stores if you understand or in a deep dive, dive into that situation that memory stores when we get into that organ like let's suppose if we take if we talk about a single body organ inside that organ we have tissues within these tissues we have cells within these cells we have dna and in that dna we are carrying the memories memories of past lives memories of the past or the present life memories of our parental karmas there we have the patterns that we have created from various lives and we got to heal that now as we have understood that we are carrying memories and time to time these memories pops up and hence we react basis on like we react on certain situations and sometimes you are not even aware that why we are reacting on this thing that particular thing was not even related to me but still i reacted why because you never know where and why that memory popped up so why healing is important here let me share my screen i was not sharing my screen just a moment right so why healing is important here see one basic thing that we all are not aware is of our past that is but obvious we don't remember our past nobody is aware in this conscious mind that what i was in my previous life what i did in my previous life it's not our exam syllabus right it is actually our soul syllabus our soul is aware of all the things whatever happened because our soul is carrying all these things and that is the reason why we get a calling of some places some people sometimes some objects even sometimes we get attached with certain things we are not even aware of that because our soul is aware of that 
because our soul knows where to go what to do when to talk whom to meet our body is just a carrier of our soul to execute that plan of this life if i talk about this life but we most of the times resist because we are stuck in the pleasures we are stuck in the logics we want to understand each and everything but the most important thing to understand here that where logic doesn't work means karma is there karma is linked there and then we do not need to get specifically into that fact or to use logic unnecessarily when there is no point anyways coming back to the question why healing is important <clears throat> cuz as i said said that energy blocks that we have created from multiple lives due to which we are not able to move further or evolve further that needs a flow see understanding is one thing but understanding without implementation is of no use you all agree right now what is quantum healing let us understand this in a way we as a human beings always remains in quantum particle exchange quantum particle exchange state means these particles can be emotions feelings thoughts or a dna patterns or dna imprints through this healing we are required to first reach to that minute particle to that cell where memory is stored and activate that memory in order to release it completely we cannot work on our dark particles i said that we are carrying both light and dark particles so we cannot work on all our dark particles without activating it from the root level or from the quantum level uh let's suppose let's take an example today you you feel that you have you're having a shoulder pain and you start healing that and slowly it settles down and after some time again it activated you again start healing it and then it settled down but now it has become a loop cycle because we are not able to reach that particular memory which is popping up because we are not releasing it because this pattern is repeating although we are doing healing but we are not able to reach that particular memory to release it completely it requires a quantum healing we are required to reach that minute particle that memory inside the cell or even the memory stores between the cells which are causing the flow of energy because through this we are just creating the space within our cells or between the cells for the energy to flow without any hurdle every organ in your body needs a space to work properly the only root cause of any health issue that you got is due to not having that enough space for the energy flow 
like we have discussed a lot about the suppression of your emotions here suppression of your thoughts in your throat chakra where the energy accumulates and sooner or later it converts into a thyroid because it affects your thyroid gland or when the water or any fluid becomes thick due to the holding of lot of memories becomes a root cause of emotional imbalancing if i'm particularly talking about the water flow inside your body it also causes a issue in your eyes wherever the water is there particularly i talk about the eyes is like the interesting part is that eyes are one of the strongest memory holder it remains it keeps the patterns of past life the most and what it holds sends the message to your subconscious mind to store and create issues the various types of issues like people have watery eyes and any fluid related issues because it creates the imbalancing of the water flow and where it relates to it relates to the sacral chakra issue i just took an example just one example to explain it so in short space needs to be created everywhere in your body wherever the energy needs a flow in order to have the white particles or photons to flow inside your body and maintain that energy flow inside the organs by releasing the memories from the cells or between the cells means the memory from the fluid also like medically reducing the viscosity or thickness of the fluid because it is carrying the memory right now and being in sai corona mission if i talk about skm we have various healing modalities to work on dna level or quantum level and we have various regression therapies as well which is the most most effective way of popping up the memory and release it completely memory of the past present or parental let me take this through what is the science behind having or doing the regression therapies if i'm talking about the regression cuz as i'm talking about that we have both light and dark particles the dark particles have more weightage and hence they start settling down towards the end of your body like the lowest chakra of your body which is the root chakra in every life in each life and root chakra is a chakra where our desires are there where our manifestations are there or any wishes are there so when we put any desire or any manifestation or any wish these particles gets activated and all those dark particles starts popping up in the form of memories in front of us which causes the instability or hurdles in the wishes or manifestations whereas the light particles are light in weight they remain in upper side of your body and helps you to connect with the divine here through quantum healing we have or we got this challenge to heal or release the memories from our root chakra sacral chakra and solar plexus chakra because lower three chakras are the ones which holds the memories the most your past life your present life your parental life ancestral life
just a minute. That's an issue. Okay. And through this healing, like the regression therapies that I was talking about, it creates more and more space for the light particles of photons to enter. And that is the reason after doing any healing or any guided meditation or regression therapies, if anybody has, going, has gone through all these things, most of the people feels light, happy, full of love, right? Some of you might have experienced as well. So that is the reason. Because through all these healing or regression therapies, we try to bring more and more light particles of photons to enter into your body because we have created the space to flow these particles inside our body. And that is why we feel so light, so full of light. That is the basic reason behind it. If anybody else wants to experience the same, we at SKM welcomes you with our open heart. So that was a very brief discussion that I tried to convey. And I hope you all understood the importance of quantum healing in everybody's life. That how and why it is so important to reach that quantum level. All right, so uh, if anybody is having any question, I'm ready to answer that. Otherwise, I'll hand over to uh, Preeti ji. Uh, if I can, just a minute. I'm just uh, muting you, yeah. Namaste, everybody. Thank you, Apniji. That was beautiful. And I think one of the thoughts that came to mind was uh, we often uh, hear and we read that, uh, uh, you know, it's the mind over matter. And one of the things is uh, it's not just the mind over matter as much as it is also the space that's there between uh, every single atom within each atom. Um, it's interesting you talked about photons. Uh, because light travels in packets of energy. So if you take in physics, grade 12, um, we talk about that. We talk about how uh, energy moves. And a lot of times this type of the imbalance in the elements and everything requires this type of healing. And I know that many people have uh, gone through uh, healing modalities like Reiki and Karuna Reiki and everything. And I'm heard told that past life regression is one that really allows for this healing. And I think I encourage everybody to uh, kind of, you know, open their minds. And you've got to go in there without a logical thought. Exactly. It has to be a degree of uh, faith and uh, belief that we are indeed all connected. Right? Yeah. Perfect. Yes. This is beautiful. So if anyone has questions, please go ahead and ask uh, Abhiji. Uh, we see some new people here as well, and I see some on Facebook as well, so it will be good. Oh, Padmaji has a question. Uh, yeah, let me unmute. White particle is photon, then black particle, what we will tell them? Uh, we consider them as an unwanted energy only. Like... We, our main motto, our main purpose is to bring the photons inside our body. Oh. Dark particles are like all those unwanted energies which we need yeah. to release. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Amunidhi, you yes. are explaining very nicely every time. But we... <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Time. Your session also very nice, but last is Preeti Ji's session, na? so we are telling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. Session is very excellent. Very nice. Thank you so oh. much. Thank you. Thank you thank so you, much. Thank you.
I think we are uh, ready for our meditation and to see if we can implement some of this learning. I have to agree with Pad uh, Padmaji that your sessions are very informative uh, each time we learn something new. So what I'd like everyone to do is close your eyes, uh, keep them closed, sit up comfortably, or you can lie down, whichever one works for you. Uh, just go ahead and settle into the moment, giving gratitude for this opportunity from uh, Dr. Shah, our Sai Karuna mission, and uh, today our teacher of Niji, who's brought a lot of information to our uh, midst here. Just begin to allow your thoughts to settle. And today we're going to try and see if we can connect with all those memories that are there within us and see if we can allow them to heal. So the reason I say we have to allow healing to take place is because we have been raised in this kind of um, logical mindset. Everything has to have a reason as to why and what and when. But the funny thing is our logical brain actually is superseded by the soul. The soul already knows the whys. They know the what because you created this life. So what I want you to do is focus on the fact that you are open and that's the intention that we're going to put and we're going to begin the session. So as we close our eyes and begin to focus on the breath, go ahead and put your intention. I am open to accepting anything and everything I find during this soul journey. I am open to any discoveries I make about myself. I am open to healing. I am open to realigning myself, the atoms, the electrons, the protons, the space between each of these, the vibrations that I feel. I am open to balancing all my energy centers. When we talk about energy centers, we are going below the root chakra, going all the way into our ancestral imprints from the mineral kingdom, plant kingdom, animal kingdom, and then we will move upwards through each of the elements. So today I want you to open your mind and allow your breath to start to flow. Begin to observe the body relax. Allow every part of your body to just feel the oxygen and to relax. Imagine that you are just massaging every cell of your body releasing all the tension, all the stiffness, aches and pains, just becoming aware of where you're seated. This is the time for you, the soul, and the body to go through a journey of complete acceptance, Complete healing, no judging, recognizing that everything is okay. Everything is exactly how it's supposed to be. Take a long deep breath. Inhale. Retain the breath. Gently exhale through the nostril. Allow the breath to go completely out. Once again, take a deep, long breath through your nose. And now, exhale completely. Allow all the air to be pushed out through the nose. 
Now, I want you to visualize a beautiful white energy surrounding you. There are small white particles everywhere. Take a nice long deep breath and observe as these white particles enter your nose. Go down your bronchial tube, fill up your lungs, as your chest expands, taking as long a breath as possible and retain that breath. Allow the energies to just go through every cell. And you can no longer hold your breath. Exhale all dark particles. There's a whole bunch of them. Go ahead and exhale completely. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale. White energy, white particles, fresh air going in. Retain your breath. Now, exhale completely all dark particles within you. Breathe normally. Just take a nice long deep breath and breathe normally. See how relaxed your body feels. You can do this any time through the day. Whenever you feel overwhelmed, this is just a quick breathing exercise, allowing you to replace your uh, energies that are blocked. And now we're going to start to bring awareness to the rest of the body. Feel yourself becoming lighter in the space that you're seated. There are roots starting to come from your feet. Allow these roots to keep going into Mother Earth. This is your earth element, so we need to ground it. As this grounding starts to take place, you're starting to become carefree. Your soul is so happy to be free. It's exited the body and is observing the body. Your soul knows why you're here. It knows its purpose. A soul is important. A soul is the carrier of memories. It's immortal. And now we're going to connect with everything that is you. As you are completely grounded, there's a beautiful energy starting to surge through the feet. Allow it to come through the chakra. Allow it to come through the mineral kingdom. Erasing all memories, your soul knows that you were either a diamond a piece of rock that contains magnesium, sulfur, lead, oxygen, maybe, carbon. So these are all different minerals and elements of the earth. Begin to recognize and make a list of all the things you know. Perhaps you're attracted to items that have gold in them. Perhaps you are uh, love silver. These are all memories. Maybe you were uh, at some point an element like this. As you move, there are plants everywhere. Your soul is recognizing when in one of the lives you were a plant. You have an affinity to plant. What is it about a plant that you can connect to? Observe it. Recognize that you might have a lot of positive strengths. Often, you may feel that you take on a lot of responsibilities, yet you survive, like a bamboo that bends but does not break. 
There is also a lot of black particles, dark particles associated. It may be a plant that is toxic. So maybe your words are toxic. Allow this memory to be erased. Read it out and replace it with a wise particle. The energy keeps shifting towards the memories of your life as an animal. If you were here last week, you remember talking about your animal in you. What is the positive of this animal in you? What is the negative? Are you one who has a lot of ego? Does it feel that you always react rather than respond? Much like an aggressive carnivore. Allow the healing to take place. Breathe out all the negative, the dark particles. Change the energy signature to a white. Observe if the soul recognizes this. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for healing. Bring your awareness to the base of your tailbone. The soul knows everything that is here, all the problems, all the issues associated with the earth element. Breathe in a beautiful red energy from the surrounding. Mother Earth is sending a red energy to you. Allow this energy to spread through the lower part of your body. The soul is observing everything. Bring awareness to the cellular level. See the space that is there. Anything that is imbalanced within you, allow it to start healing. Things like skin issues, bone issues, joint issues, blood. Allow these connective tissues within you to heal. Remember that there is a memory here. Go deep, deep inside. So imagine that you're diving deep into the earth. You're seeing every grain of sand, every single atom, every single energy mass. Go ahead. For those of you who know healing, you can begin to do your healing symbol here. For those who are joining us now, repeat the four phrases with responsibility. Divine soul takes responsibility. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. Keep saying this to the divine, allowing the memories to be away. Observe any vibrations, thoughts, feelings that you're receiving a video. Things are coming to the surface, much like a volcano. The core of you is starting to explode. Things are coming up. Let them come. Thoughts, people, feelings. Continue to heal. Keep putting your healing symbols, your mantras. I am fit, fine, and healthy. Every cell, every energy molecule within me is healed. I am a quantum particle. My quantum signature is becoming exactly like that of the divine creator. Observe yourself. The physical body that may have issues. Everything is becoming perfect. With this red energy that is coming right through, very much like the lava of a volcano, healing you. Balancing everything from the very core of your soul, going into several lives. Whatever you were, whatever you've done, you've brought those signatures, you've brought those memories. 
world knows this, the soul is asking for forgiveness, taking responsibility, so that this life, this body is healed. The karmas that are there continue to heal the karmas. Remember, don't create death. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you, I love you. For all that I am witnessing, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you, I love you. Observe as all dark particles within this space are replaced with white photons, white energy signatures to the white light. This red energy is starting to spread now. We've talked about aura. I can see that many of our auras are expanding. Let's begin to expand, visualize this beautiful energy around you. Remember, you're seeing yourself as the body. As this red energy is starting to spread through, it's starting to become so easy to go right through every molecule. The root chakra is completely balanced, healing all the lower limbs, issues with the skin, the bones, joints, so beautiful. There's a gush of energy coming as the lava flows down, starts to cool as it meets the ocean, turns orange, the same is flowing through the body, below the navel temple, we've arrived towards the water element. Recognize all parts of the body that contain water, issues with the blood, issues with your eyes, issues with the joints or arthritis, issues with blood pressure because when Blood becomes extremely viscous and thick. It applies more pressure on the walls of the arteries, creating flat. Start observing these physical manifestations of soul memory. The soul is present, taking responsibility for all past life incidences, past life memories. I am sorry, please forgive me. I thank you, I love you. Feel this orange energy. Engulf the entire body like a river flowing over. Don't worry, it's very safe. Feel yourself getting submerged bit by bit. Feet, waist, stomach. The body is coming, the water is coming, it's orange. Allow your body to be completely submerged. The heart, lung, beautiful. There's an orange energy. That's just the water that's flowing, divine water, balancing every molecule within you that has the signature of water. Next. Uh, we are completely inside this beautiful orange river. You can breathe so comfortably. Every cell that has a memory of water that is not correct, that may be creating problems, maybe a dark particle, is now being replaced with a white particle. Water has memory. So go ahead and put your affirmations. I am fit, fine, and healthy. I'm healing every memory of water within me. Allow the white particles to come into you. Feel this river of orange exchanging every dark energy with a white one. This beautiful orange river is the home to many orange pixels. Just to let it be. Go ahead, if you see them, pick it up. There are orange lotuses with four petals. 
You can take the smell the scent of orange fruit. All the senses that we need that contain water are completely active, completely balanced. Feel the refreshing warmth of this water. Observe, do you feel cold? Do you feel completely soaked? Are you completely dry? Are you able to walk at the riverbed? Do you need a soul, a divine soul? Souls that have bothered you? Give love and forgiveness. The base of your navel center completely heal. Allow the reproductive organs to start to heal. Every part of your kidney, adrenal glands, everything is balanced. The water that's orange in color is starting to recede as your sacral chakra, your Swadhisthana chakra is fully balanced. Your soul is start starting to feel the joy as memories are being replaced with positive energy. Keep walking now as the water recedes from your head, shoulders. It's starting to go down. There's a slight warmth. The heat is starting to increase. The body is now experiencing the fire element. Four fingers above the navel center. The solar plexus is completely active. Digestion. Pancreatic fluid, bile, gallbladder, liver, all these organs are highly active. Usually the home for stress, overeating, undereating, indigestion, constipation, all the physical ailments, stones of different kinds, crystallization. Let's begin to observe as the fire that burns within us starts to flow through Mother Earth and comes in contemplating this space. The soul is observing all of this, taking full responsibility. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. Go deep into the cell. Stop going into your atoms. Go into every part. You can do this because you are the soul, you are in water. Go ahead and balance space within. Start physically taking out all the memories of pain, ache, and disorder. Take away the fear that causes anxiety. The fight and flight response of the animal kingdom's memory. Feel as the soul starts to take full responsibility and recognizes. I'm okay, no matter how many lives I live. I'm okay, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you, I love you. I don't need fear at this moment. Allow the fire that's within you to burn away any disorders. Allow any dark energies to be burnt away and replaced with light energy. You can do this. Observe this beautiful yellow energy just start engulfing you if you don't burn. This is the test of fire. You're open. Release your logical thoughts. Accept what it is. Ancestral connections, connections to your past lives. Your soul knows all of this. Allow it. You, the soul, erase all this. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you, I love you. Add the word to the divine, I trust you. Tell the divine, you I have complete faith. My journey is as for soul evolution. As the Manipura Chakra, your solar plexus is balanced, the energy is flowing through the aura. Your soul is starting to get so much lighter. Move towards the upward, go towards the heart. 
the lungs. There's a cleaning green energy coming as the lower three chakras are completely balanced, earth, water, fire. Quantum healing has taken place at this point. We've been through a journey of every electron, proton, neutron, making sure that all the photons have come in that are white, energy signatures that were dark as well. There's a beautiful breeze around you, it's a green energy. Observe this. Mother Earth is so happy to share her beautiful green energy. Colors of the rainbow, rustling of leaves, flowing of grass, lush grass, beautiful raindrops have fed the ground. Your heart is so nourished. Your lungs are so replenished. Observe the body as it takes a deep breath and feels so light. Any heaviness that comes in is the movement of this volcanic eruption from the core that we have. Allow those emotions to come. If you feel like crying, let your tears flow. The water element in you is balanced. If you feel like raging, if you feel angry, allow it. The fire element in you is balanced. Allow everything to come through the Anahat Chakra, the heart chakra. All the souls who are within you, uh, that are connected to you, everyone that you've met, everyone's come to teach a lesson, or you are here to teach a lesson. Love, compassion, acceptance, forgiveness, open mind, open heart. The air element is starting to take what it needs from Mother Earth. Allow the Anahat Chakra to take what it needs from Mother Earth. The soul is taking responsibility. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. Feel the lightness as you start to release dark particles, dark memories, dark energy. Somebody's hurt you badly. Don't ask why. Just ask for forgiveness here. Ask the divine to forgive you for whatever it is that you did that has caused this effect. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. Give forgiveness to the soul. Apologize. Ask for forgiveness. Accept it. Let it go. With you. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. Observe the inner child. Your soul has gone so deep within that the earliest memory, the very first memory ever, the baby soul, that is starting to come. Go ahead. Talk to this baby soul. Paul, what do you have to say? What a long journey. Have you been through one or a hundred different lives? What kind of memories do you have? It doesn't matter at this point. We are healing. So tell your baby soul, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. Go ahead. Put any affirmations you want in here. I'm fit, fine, and healthy. Every part of me is completely balanced. My quantum signature is that that aligns with the divine universe. I am filled with white particles. And observe as this earliest memory of you starts to align as well. Feel the lightness in the heart. There may be a little block in the throat now, so many emotions, so many things, this volcanic explosion that you're having. It's all coming and concentrating around the throat. You may feel your throat is dry. You may feel like you want to cry, laugh, scream, accept it. 
Mother Earth is sending her energies all the way because now we are arriving towards the ether elements of the body. The soul knows that the feelings that we have versus the words that we speak don't always align. Begin taking responsibility. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. Relax as you see the cells here. Observe your throat. Observe the throat, the thyroid. Observe the trachea. Go ahead, the larynx that allows you. Swallow. Your voice box. Go deeper. The soul is starting to travel to each cell. Go into each atom. Find the space where there is dark energy. The things that make you say things that you shouldn't be saying. Start replacing it with a white one. Put things like, oh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And thank you. I love you. Beautiful. Mother Earth is now pushing further up as the energy is balanced. Between your eyebrows. Your ears are resonating. Your eyes are filled with water. Beautiful energies. There's a vibration between the eyebrows. Your soul is observing the opening of your eye chakra, the third eye chakra. The direct connection to the spiritual world. Stay here as long as you need. Start putting your affirmations to the divine. What do you need? What do you want? What does the soul want? It's the clarity of your soul journey. Take a moment, take pause, think, and listen carefully today while we speak. We may not know what it is that our soul purpose is, but it will show up. Be aware of that. Observe as the energies flow from the base of your feet all the way to the center of your eyebrow. Let's go ahead and start to flow. The soul has decided to take the journey. Observe as we reach the top of the crown. There's a beautiful white lotus. This white energy that's all around you has entered every cell at the quantum level, becoming quantum particles ourselves, start flowing with every soul that's connecting today. Recognize each soul as the journey takes us out. Soul is able to travel. Observe as you go higher into the ceiling of the space you're seated at. The body is becoming smaller as you go higher. Through the sky, above the city, moving higher, further away into space. Ask the beautiful cloud through the atmosphere, past the moon. You don't need oxygen, you don't need a body, you're just flowing. You're just a mass of energy. Allow the light energy that you are to return to the sun, keep moving. Go past the planet that you would like. See your favorite planet. Maybe you were there at one point. Maybe it's the gas giant Jupiter, Saturn, Mars. It's Mercury. It could be a far off galaxy. See where you're floating. Go. You're free. Keep going. See yourself in the eyes of who you really are. Meet yourself. Feel the peace. So much bliss. So much silence. At the quantum level, 
Everything is calm. Now begin to put your intention. What do you want for this life? Visualize yourself as you flow through the space, through the galaxy. Visualize what you want as you today in this present life. Visualize yourself at your healthiest, your happiest. Bring abundance in every form. Abundance in health, abundant in love. Abundant in money, abundant in words, abundant in forgiveness. May everyone that you meet in this present life be blessed with the abundance that you carry today. Put these affirmations in. You're returning from all your travels through the galaxies, through eons of time. Who did you meet today? Did you meet a divine soul, a guru, a master? Did you meet one of the gods that you grew up knowing? Sai, Jesus, Archangels, Krishna, anybody? Whoever you met, begin to align those strengths within you. We are bringing these energies back into the present. Time as we start to approach the earth. The moon is shining brightly, reflecting the light of the sun. Enter the atmosphere. See the city lights. Oh, beautiful. Maybe you pass a few birds in clouds. See the top of your house, your room. You're not sitting down, lying down, observe the body. Reintegrate with every cell. Give thanks to this beautiful body. Observe as the photons that are white in color start to fill every cell within you. Settle into this body. Feel the skin, you are a part of the skin, you are the skin. Imagine that you are the skin. How does it feel? Observe the pores on your hands. Recognize the features of the body. Remember, everything is perfect. Recognize every organ. Slowly begin to bring awareness to the rise and the fall of your breath. Inhale and let the breath go through. Exhale. Inhale. All the elements within the body are completely balanced at the quantum level. Recurring in issues have all been erased. Once healing takes place, they are not coming back. Slowly begin to bring awareness to the tip of your left toe, your left ear, left ankle. Observe the body, left knee. Beautiful, see the healing. Left hip, left shoulder, left elbow, left palm, fingers of your left hand, fingers of your right hand, right palm, right elbow, right shoulder, right hip, right knee, right heel. Right toes, both your legs, the entire backbone, base of the neck, base of the skull, the 
the pituitary gland, the hypothalamus. These are the little things that are stuck at the base of your skull and your brain. The top of your head. The cerebral cortex, the front of, front lobe of your head, forehead, right eye, left eye, tear duct, nose, nasal passages, lips, tongue, root of the lower jaw of the upper jaw, throat, base of the neck, the rib cage, navel center, tailbone, the entire body. And to your beautiful body, did you recognize that? Your soul just loves this body. Give gratitude to this body. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. Apologize if you've been eating unhealthy. Apologize if you've forgotten how to exercise. Make sure that you thank this body for cooperating with you. Make sure you give tremendous self love. As you inhale, the roots from the base of your feet are starting to recede. Mother Earth has given us permission to return to this conscious life. Feel the lightness in your legs and hands. Begin to wiggle your toes gently. Wiggle the fingers. Start placing your gratitude. Thank all the divine souls that made this occasion possible. Observe the white energy. Taking one big breath, let the white energy go back into the universe. You are completely balanced. Take a nice long deep breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, feel so beautiful, feel the lightness. When you're ready, give gracious thanks to yourself, to the body. Join your palms together. There's a lot of healing energy within you. Rub your palms together gently. Go ahead and place it over your eyes. If you have aches and pains, go ahead and place your hands over there. Otherwise, drop your hands, your head into your hands. Gently open your eyes. Welcome back, everybody. Everyone okay? Welcome back. Good. All okay? Good, good, good. Welcome back. Okay.